after three nights in Bangkok, Koh San Road, partying, total debauchery, I decide time to get out of town, head for the beaches. I grabbed a minibus from Bangkok main bus station, cost me 200 baht. Four hours later, here I am. Probably the closest coast to Bangkok. This place is called Hua Hin. And first impressions, wow, absolutely love this place. Now I'm going to be checking out some great food, places to stay, some beautiful beaches, of course the nightlife, and anything else that I happen to come across. Keep watching. After about a three and a half hour bus ride from Bangkok, I have finally arrived in Hua Hin. I've ended up in this small little, what I can only describe as a quaint old fishing village, because this is where my hotel is. And I'm checking into the Mandarin Lodge. To be honest, when I arrived at the hotel, my first impressions were not good, but there's an old saying, never judge a book by its cover. So carry on regardless. Thank you. Well, I've just arrived at the Mandarin uh, Lodge Hotel and really cheap. It's cost me about, well, uh, if I said 1,800 baht for three nights, uh, 1,000 baht is about 25 quid. I'll let you work that out. I'll let you do the maths on that one. But basically, yeah, it's got a swimming pool. Not the biggest swimming pool in the world, but fantastic. It will do the job. And this is my room. So on entry, I thought that was my bed at first and I was a little bit disappointed, but no, the main bedroom's upstairs, but downstairs, got coffee making equipment, a fridge with some water in it, that's very nice too. Nice size shower, toilet. And heading upstairs to the main bedroom, Care for these stairs at night when I've had a few. Nice picture on the wall. Television. Nice size double bed. Air conditioning, very important. Safety deposit box. And outside we have a small balcony. You can have a cigarette or a glass of wine in the evening or whatever tickles your fancy, I guess. Nice view. And there you have it. I mean, this has cost me 1,800 baht for three nights which works out about 18 quid a night. 18 quid a night, do you know what? Absolute bargain, not far from the beach either. And uh, yeah, I'll take that, thank you very much. So if you're looking for a Western style bar, normal bar, just up from the Mandarin Lodge where I'm staying, is this little place it's called buffalo buffalo 23 i haven't eaten here i've had a drink here so 
a lovely little bar. It's got um, cheap beer. Well, good, well-priced beer. But the one thing I did notice here is they have the closest looking thing to an English breakfast that I've pretty much seen in Thailand. As I say, I haven't had one yet. Unfortunately, I won't be having one today because I've already eaten breakfast. Uh, so I can't recommend it as far as what it tastes like, but it does look good. And if you are here, worth a try. It's got a pool table, lovely view, front view, the beach, and yeah, the Buffalo 23 bar. Well worth a visit if you're in this area. I'm staying in this little village in Hua Hin. If you are somewhere where the Hilton Hotel is in Hua Hin, it's close to that. Uh, it's a small, tiny little village with loads going on. It's a little bit quiet, but I like it like that. If you want something busier, then go to Pattaya. But generally speaking, this little town has everything you need. This is Hua Hin's walking street during the daytime. Most of the bars, clubs and restaurants are all closed and the only thing you're likely to hear is the occasional call from a massage parlour. You could easily be misstrued into thinking it was a bit of a ghost town with nothing to do. But don't be fooled. When the sun goes down and the lights come up, this place comes alive with the sound of party revelers, music, live entertainment, girly bars and anything else you could throw into the equation. <laughs> Well, that's about it. That's all I've got time for, for Hua Hin on this occasion. Uh, thanks very much for watching. I've only been able to fit so much into this video, but of course there is so much more to see around here. 
so many places to go. But if you're looking for a quick break from Bangkok, I guess a four hour journey, it's a great place to visit. If you're looking for something more livelier, then maybe Pattaya would be suiting you. But generally speaking, this place is absolutely amazing. Well worth a visit, more chilled out than Pattaya. Lovely beaches all around here, great food, great people, good nightlife. And that's about it. Thanks very much for watching. Chef Travels, see you on the next one. Cheers.